What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. Got another quick video discussion for you. This is a continuation from the series that we've been doing on gas calculations. And what we're going to look at today is focusing on how big of a tank do you need to make a dive. Now we are doing this based off a table calculation, not based off what your computer will read, but simply off a table calculation and factoring in the rule of thirds, we're going to pick a depth a bottom time based off our current RNV rate and see what size cylinder you would need to make that dive safely. Now, of course, we're going to use the same RNV from the previous videos of 0.22 cubic feet per minute at the surface. We're going to be using a depth of 99 feet of salt water. And of course, we want to max out our no decompression limit, which would be 20 minutes bottom time of no deco and then more of course we're going to factor in the rule of thirds. Now it's very simple to do this. All you have to do is actually take your RNV rate and multiply it by your depth. But once again the depth has to be in atmospheric pressure. So if I'm at a depth of 99 feet that is simply four atmospheres of pressure. And the way we come up with that is take depth divided by 33 if it's salt water or 34 if it's fresh water and add one back to it. So 33 divided or I'm sorry, 99 divided by 33 is 3 plus 1 of the constant atmosphere here at the surface would be a total of 4. That's going to give me an answer of 0.88 cubic feet per minute is being breathed at 99 feet. Now, continuing on, I simply take the time that I want to spend underwater, which would be 20 minutes, and I simply multiply that together. So I'm going to take 0.88 times 20, and that gives me an answer of 17. 0.6 cubic feet, factoring in the rule of thirds, I'm going to simply times it by 3, and that gives me a total needed cubic footage of 52.8 cubic feet is needed to do that side dive safely. Now, when you're trying to determine what size cylinder, you're going to simply take that cubic footage and bump it up to the next size cylinder. Now they don't make a 53 cubic foot or a 52 cubic foot cylinder. However, they do make a 53 cubic foot aluminum cylinder. Of course, you can use a an 80 cubic foot or a 100 cubic foot, but the minimum required tank to do this dive would be a 53 cubic foot cylinder. So guys, I hope calculating how much air you need or what size tank you need at any given depth based off what your RMV is, is a little bit easier for you now. If you have any questions on this video or any of our previous ones, simply put it down in the comment section below. We'll try to answer it as quickly as we can. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.